Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I thought what we would do today for our um, ephemera on Friday, uh, Valentine ephemera on Friday, is use some of my darling Valentine and make a little cute envelope thing. So that's the plan. I hope you all are having a wonderful Friday. I am doing pretty good. So what I was thinking is making my um, envelope so that uh, like a four by four card would fit into it. So you need a six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths um, sheet of paper. So I'm going to cut that first and then we will do this. So yeah, I'm using my darling Valentine. See, and I'm just using a couple pieces of it, but just to give you an example, um, it's kind of a 1920s sort of inspired, or that's what a lot the time period that a lot of the images are from. So um, yeah, and then I drew these little hearts with the flowers on them and stuff, just to um, give me some background papers. This is actually from my um, uh. Old love notes. Man, I was just drawing a blank there. Old love notes digital download is where that lace is from. But the, these are all the little things that are in my darling Valentine um, digital. So there are some like 1920s images like this. And then these little kiddos are more of a 1920s look. Um, these ones are probably a little more Victorian, but you know, they st they were just cute, so I popped them in there, but the pages are all uh, this type of thing, the collage that I do when I do digitals, um, and then a lot of them have, you know, other images on them as well, but this is one of the more plain ones, so I'm going to set those down there. So what did I say? Six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. I think I want this side more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, six and seven eighths. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm great at this um, mathing thing, so you'll have to pardon pardon me. My brain and fractions are not friends. So I kind of want that because this will be the inside of the envelope, so that uh, maybe we can see a little bit of the lace or something is the hope that I'm having. I just wanted something on the inside. That's why I did double-sided uh, paper. So this will be the outside. So yeah, I don't have a whole lot happening today. Just, uh, of course, went and ran some errands, but that's kind of what I do. It seems every day there's something going on that I need to deal with. Three and a half is where we need to score it. So if you uh, don't have one of these envelope punch boards, this one is from Stampin' Up, but um, We Are Memory Keepers, I believe, also has one. There's a few places that you can get them. Um, I, I'm pretty sure Amazon has them. If not, you can probably find one on Etsy or um, somewhere. But anyway, so um, the way I do it, and I know everybody does it different, the way I do it is the way I learned it the first time, and that's only because I make less mistakes. So I score my little line. They have the little... Um, line there. I score that up here and I punch it and then I turn it all the way over and I do that again. Did I say three and a half right? Gosh I hope so because I'm a dingling. So anyway you score it again, punch it again, and then you use these lines to line up with your little arrow thing there and then score it. Oops if you can find the little score thing. Score it punch it and then you can do the same thing with this one so I know most people just go around and do it that way but for some reason I've had them come out wonky when I've done that so I just do it the original way I learned which is going you know do one end then flip it all the way over and do the other end but you do it however works for you it, it's not it's you know <laughs> it's not a big deal <laughs> And then I like my corners rounded, but if you like them with the point, then leave the point. And I probably scored wrong for folding, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, get that out of the way. So let's see here. I kind of want this, like I said, to be the top because I want that lace. So I'm going to fold it this way this away this away and I always 
seems like it always gets a little crooked, so I like to fix it and try to get it as straight as possible. But yeah, love my envelope punch board. have used it for all sorts of things, not just envelopes. It is a very fun little gadget to have if you don't have one. And that will be the inside. Oh, we don't even really need to do that, honestly, because we're going to leave that flap up. That's why I wanted it um, decorated on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and ink this. And then this way you can um, fill it with goodies and put it on a journal page as a pocket with its little flap up. So, but if you prefer, obviously you can close it and use it as an envelope because this would be a fun little something to um, give to a friend or put a little candy in, a little flat candy of some kind and give it to a grandchild or whatever loved one. Okay, so that's all we really need to ink because we got this outside inked. Okay, and then we'll glue it so it stays together. So I'm not doing anything other than making an envelope today. Um, that's a real square envelope, so I think I'll do it this way instead of with the flaps on the outside. <clears throat> I don't think it really matters as long as it stays closed. I just go by how I like how it looks more than <laughs> anything else. But these real square ones kind of it feels like that middle flap needs to be the top one. Okay. All right, so then I just have this little card I thought we might be able to put in, or we can use some of the um, little tag things. What did I do with those? Oh, something down here. Yeesh. So we'll use one of these, and I printed them just on... Um, parchment paper because that's what I like to print on but if you want to print them on a thicker paper then go ahead and do that I just I like this parchment paper uh, the look of it so let's see which one of these is even going to fit in here will she fit I know he will that one probably would too but that would be really tall I think I'll go with the little this little guy and I'm gonna back it so that it'll be more sturdy. I'll put a book page and then some other kind of like copy dyed paper or something on it. Or you could use the pink or whatever. I could use avocado dyed paper too. That would be excellent. Why don't we do that? I have some from my friend Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts, and I think she probably will do some, um, she said, I listened to her last night, and she's going to do some smaller Valentine's kits than what she's done in the past, but it doesn't matter what size they are, they're great, and I, I like, I really like having them, so I think I'm going to do kind of the Carol Laws thing where it um, flips open, and then you've got um, some journaling space, so I'm actually going to fold it this way, I always forget which way to go when I do this but I want it the right width and we can cut it down a little bit so probably work and then we'll glue that on there I think that's right and then it'll have a little flip open like that so we'll just get glue on here I didn't cut this all the way out yet for the reason that I am backing it Oh no, I must have left my glue open and didn't realize it because it's really oopy goopies. Uh -oh. Okay, hi, I'm back. Sorry, I had a big old glue mess. And so I just edited that out because I tried to fix it and it ugh, the glue was just a mess. So anyway, I had left the lid off. So, you know, treat, treat your supplies better than I do and then you won't have those problems. So I'm starting again with a different um, piece of avocado dyed paper here. Just... 
Ay, 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 I'm telling you, some days it doesn't pay to get out of bed. So anyway, yeah, that glue was just way too goopy and no matter what I tried, it was just making a mess. And when I got it glued onto this paper, it was too, you know, bumpy and I didn't like it. So anyway, I just got rid of that and we're just gonna go from here. <laughs> So I apologize. I usually do put my messes on there, but um, I just didn't want to have all that goopy glue mess on here. I didn't think that was necessary. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this to the right size on this side because otherwise my fold, I can't trim this off. Do you see what I'm saying with the fold there? So it needs to be flush with the edge. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't have a fold if you turn it off. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's one of those days, I'm telling you. Yeah, that glue got, unfortunately. And I'll, I'll still use it. I just won't use it on camera. <laughs> until it, Unless it starts, you know, getting to the point where it's not so gloppy. Yeah, I am horrible about that. I mean, sometimes I'm really good and I keep on it and I put it away and do all those things and then other times it's like I come up here and it's open it wasn't today so I'm not sure I guess it just must have been you know because I was working yesterday and doing the Glowforge so I think it was just too much time elapsed over um, making stuff and doing that that it sat so unfortunately it's a mess so then I'm just trimming off my extra edge and then that makes my tag a little bit thicker um, you know with the glue and the paper backing it somehow i got this one really funky here i think it's just because the white lace right there it makes it look weird all right so i'm just going exactly with the tag so the pink paper is not is going to have like kind of a tag shape if you see what i mean because I will do this and then it'll open like that and you have the pretty lace design on the inside and then we can use this piece for something else if I cut these parts off put it in my little stack of papers that I use to back stuff or do whatever thank you my friend Denise she does beautiful beautiful papers So yeah, this idea I got from Carol Laws. I don't know where she saw it um, or if she did or if she came up with it. I, I don't know. But anyway, it's a great idea for backing stuff to add that little extra flap. Just so you have that much more journaling space. It's fabulous. So thank you, Carol. Yeah, I thought this would be cute for a Valentine's journal or any journal. Any of these um, ephemera things that I do, even if I call it, you know, Christmas ephemera or Valentine's ephemera or whatever, you know, just adapt them to whatever paper you're using. You don't have to be using Valentine's stuff if you're not doing that at the moment. Let's see, then this can go in here and peek out. And then we can put maybe some of these little kiddos on there. I don't know. He's already there. Should we use these? These ones are so tiny. I printed them smaller size just because at bigger, I was worried they wouldn't um, fit on there very well. Like they'd be too big, if you see what I mean. So there's that. Um, you know what I probably should have is doilies. And I thought I had some here. I Hold on, Doily. I have these pink ones too, but I'm thinking, I don't know, I guess either one would work. Maybe the white though, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Let's see, because then you can see them better. I think the actual sized kids would have worked just fine. So um, if you have these and you don't want to you know deal with shrinking them down this size envelope would probably hold the actual size of them just fine because they're it's a good size envelope but it will fit on your page just great because it's about four and a half so yeah four and a half inches so that will work good 
I don't know what, I don't want to do like the same thing. <laughs> I feel like that would look really weird. But it's a little busy back there for him. I feel like I, he gets lost. So maybe a little bit of book page. I don't like that. Went across the bottom. I'm gonna ink those, that'll help them stand out a little. And I can put a red heart too, which will also help. Yeah, I, I don't, my thumb is all cracked from the cold weather, <laughs> so that's why I have a band-aid on, because I'm just trying to, um, I put some ointment on it so that it'll stay, and obviously I don't want that all over what I'm working on. I don't know why hand, why do hands do that? <laughs> it's like, I could see if I was out there all day, every day or something, but, um, I mean, I, you know, do go out and shovel snow or whatever has to be done, but... You would think. And I usually wear gloves to do that. I guess it just doesn't take much, does it? It's just so dry in the house, too, with the heater going constantly. And there's no amount of lotion that stops that, it seems. And I don't like putting on lotion, because then I can't do anything, it feels like. <laughs> I mean, I do it at night. I put lotion on my hands at night, but that's obviously not enough. And in the morning, after my shower, but... Clearly it needs it in the middle of the day as well. All right, nobody got time for that. All right. And these are the hearts um, that are in my shop that are cut on my Glowforge laser machine. The thing that keeps me hopping, right? Okay, so we're gonna put glue on that. Just needed a little something on there. These little kids are so sweet. These little ones I found from the 20s on um, some old Valentines from the 20s. They were very cute. The hardest part with Valentine's Day is finding, I mean, like you can find the old Valentines and I even have some of the Victorian ones, but I don't want to take them apart to like scan them and stuff like that. Uh, it's hard to find images, you know, that you can use. I just didn't get that far this year because I've been working on some other things that will be coming out soon that I think, I hope you guys will like. Um, so that kind of has taken my attention. You know, when you get on a, uh, off on a tangent, it's sometimes hard to stop to do stuff that maybe needs to get done. <laughs> like a Valentine Digital, for example. <laughs> I was like, well, at least I have a couple. So it's not like I don't have anything in my shop for Valentine's Day. I just don't have much. <laughs> So, but that's, that's life as we know it, right? And I love Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorites. It's just kind of a, I don't know, happy, fun day, I, I feel like. And I like to, you know, give my kids a little candy and a little something. Because I love them and my sister and my hubby. Just kind of fun. Even if you don't have a significant other, ah, I think, you know, it's fun to share that with friends or um, kids, family, you know, that kind of thing. It's just fun to tell the people that you're around all the time that you might not say it all the time. I love you, too, which is very important. I, of course, had to get that glue on there, so now that's going to bug me because I can see it. 
Y O Y, right? She's a cutie patootie. cute so if you if you didn't want to like see the same one it says to my valentine right there that's cute we could decorate this little card up and put it in here and tie a little something fun on there and you could even dangle down some hearts would be cute What do you guys do for Valentine's Day? Anything special or are you doing anything special? We don't do a whole lot. I mean, we'll probably like maybe go have something good for dinner or I'll make something special for dinner, that kind of thing. But we don't do major stuff. I know it's like my mother and father-in-law's anniversary. Their anniversary is Valentine's Day. That's very fun. Any of you have were married on Valentine's Day, congratulations and have a happy one. These little cards came with the holes in them. I'm not sure what you were supposed to do with them, but um, yeah, I just decorated them up. I don't know what I did with my little brush. I, don't, I can't find anything anymore, I'm telling you. It doesn't seem to matter how much I try to organize and clean it up. It's just a never-ending vortex, it feels like, sometimes. Okay, maybe we'll just put a little bit of the paper or one of these. I think these are all too good. This is cute, a valentine to a little girl. Or we could put a heart. I do like that one too. I'll just cut that one out because I can just kind of cut around it. I don't have to get super fussy cutty because there's the hearts on the ground, so we don't want to lose those. So we're just going to kind of do a loose around thing. there, but that's okay. She's dropping them all over the ground. <gasps> She's taking his last heart. <laughs> some doily on this too. This little piece that I didn't use. It's a little I think it needs a little book page too. All that pink is kind of, wow. <laughs> I mean, I like pink, but you know, it's just a little much. I 
This just gives it that vintage feel too. These are cute. Um, Dee Dee Farago did a Christmas thing where she glued something, two somethings kind of like those together and then had um, it so the there was a piece of paper in the middle that pulled out. Those are really fun to make. I know that probably doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> it was like a little secret spot inside. So if you take and you glue, you know, just around the edge and put another one over the top of it, and then you cut across the bottom, don't glue it all the way closed. You can slip another piece of paper into the bottom portion that pulls out and then you can slide it back in into the middle because there's you know nothing in the middle and it's not glued together if that makes sense that's a cute little piece of ephemera too I don't know how much way I want this I guess this way would make a little more sense can't see any of those little flowers but you can see the the border which is nice so I think we'll just do it like that So quiet here today, which is amazing. <laughs> I know it's I keep saying that a lot. I think it's because over the holidays when everybody was around, you know, there's just always stuff going on. So it's funny when there's quiet again. It's kind of like when everybody went back to school and work and all that from um that time off with COVID. And I mean my husband had to work because he works at the hospital, but my kids were around all the time. And then when everybody was back to working all the time in school all the time it was weird it's sort of like that now after the holidays well, there there went a big old truck banging by <laughs> my sister said you guys can't hear that though so that's good because it's loud pull it this way a little more so maybe you can kind of see one or two of those Put a little heart on that. A heart or two. The only time I really use hearts, I don't know why. Like I said, I was an 80s kid and I think it just got overdone at that time. Tell me if I'm tell me if I'm right if you if you feel the same way uh, they were just on everything and everywhere and one more little one if I can glue it with my big old ridiculous band-aid Okay, and then I'm not sure what to put on the inside of that. I feel like it needs a little something else, like we need some stamping or we need something. It just feels not complete. If I can get my stamp pad open, that is. Grunges it up a little bit more, <laughs> which I like. Okay, I feel like it needs just, yeah. I'll do this too, and I feel like that needs a little something else too. barely touching it in the middle there. I just wanted a little something, but I don't want it real. 
dark. Okay, that is better. And then this little guy, what are we gonna do? He needs a little something else. Um, if I had some sayings, and I know I probably do, that I don't have printed out, isn't that always the way? Yes. I do have this one that says sweet, but it's so huge. That's the only thing I don't like about these Tim Holtz, and that's why I don't think I use them very much, because they're so gigantic. And I love them. They're super cool. But I think I'm going to cut it even though that's crazy. Um, where's my... Because I love the look of it. But it's kind of big for a lot of things. I, other things, it's fine. That cut straight. It felt like it cut crooked. It looks crooked. <laughs> Just want to straighten it, hopefully. And then I'll probably never get those rounded corners again while I... Oh, you know what I can do? I can hold this to it. Yeah, it's totally crooked. <laughs> what in the world did I do? <sighs> I need a keeper, people. <laughs> it's bad. Okay, well, I can put this on here and try to sort of get those rounded corners again maybe 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 it's not a whole lot is it it's just that little snip well, it's not perfect but at least it kind of looks like it goes together <laughs> I can't believe how Look at I cut that. Okay, I like to create too, but we're going with the, the sweet, and then we're going to put a little heart over here. Yes, I like it. Okay, let's get that inked. Ink a dink a do. I'll rough it up a little too. Very sweet though. Do I want that way? Yeah, this way, I guess, because it says to my Valentine. Whoopsie. Yep, wouldn't you know? Sorry, I'm probably shaking the whole table. And it doesn't want to grab to the paper very well. It's kind of slippery. I think it's because that card is slippery. Man, I really mucked that all up, didn't I? Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am having glue problems today. <laughs> and I did clean this, so it's not like you... You know, you could say, uh, you know, just go clean that. I did, I did. I soaked it and everything, and it was all nice and clean yesterday. It's not my day for the glue. Yeah, that was just a big fat mess earlier. Not to mention it got black all over it from the, one, the challenge, and two, um, this book. Because it's kind of like newsprint, that paper. So it's just a disgusting mess. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that can go in here. I like it. And then we need a little something tied there. I don't know what. But let's see. 
under. No, I'm not even going to mess with that. Eyelash trim is just... Oh, stuff makes me crazy. Could use just a strip of that. I could use that. Maybe we'll use that because that's what I have at hand right now. In my bag of snippets. See if I can tear this without completely going awry. No, probably not. Sorry, silk is an odd duck, I'm gonna say. Sometimes it tears just like bing, and other times it's, I know, it all depends on the weave, what way it's going. That's all above my pay grade. <laughs> For sure. We were laughing last night because I mean, it's great that, you know, we get paid something from YouTube and, and I, I, I just enjoy doing it. It's like my favorite part of what I do. I wish I could just make videos and um, not, you know, have to worry about cutting stuff on the Glowforge and doing all those kind of things. But anyhow, um, so if you guys want to know, kind of, I do five videos a week, right? <laughs> Four or five, just depending on the week. Or if, you know, I'm on vacation or something. I'm not here. But that's no different than any other job. So I got my 1099 form from YouTube last night. And I made $2,000. $2,300 or something like that on YouTube. From YouTube. So if that gives you any idea. If you're aspiring to be, you know, make money from YouTube or whatever, which, hey, anything helps. I'm totally like, great, thank you. But um, it's just funny because I remember before I got to a thousand subscribers, I was like, oh, it's gonna be so great when I, you know, get paid for ads and all that. Yeah, $2,300 for a year, five days a week. <laughs> so if that, if that gives you any idea what, uh, you know, the people that are, have really big, channels yeah they're probably obviously doing better than that um I don't have that big of a channel and so obviously I'm not gonna make huge amounts of money and I don't do videos in the middle of my um uh, or videos I don't put ads in the middle of my videos just because you know I, I want you guys to watch I don't want you to feel like oh there's another ad just turn it off you know what I mean so um that's also like if I had ads going all the time throughout the video then I might make more or whatever but I mean it doesn't matter I just thought it was comical because I remember being so excited to get to a thousand subscribers and make money I mean again like I said I'll take it it's better than the poke in the eye that's for sure but um yeah it was just funny <laughs> uh. all right so there is our little envelope, and like I said, I would probably just glue it onto a page, you know, leave the little flap open, because then it's got all our little goodies, and you could, like, um, put, it would be fun to put, like, a bigger cutout heart in there, too, and um, a few other things, and like I said, you could put a little, one of those flat candies in there, or something like that would be fun. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to stamp this just a little. Sorry. And I'll let you guys go. Oh, we... You know what else we can do is stamp it with our date stamp. So not a super long video today. Sorry about that. I thought it would take me longer than it ended up taking me. I guess it was fast because my envelope is basically already done. I just had to put it together. So that was kind of awesome. Okay. I, I like it with a little something extra on there. And then that's just the number one. This one's the one I need, but it's... Ah, stop. <laughs> I stink at these. <laughs> it says all different things. Do I, what do I want it to say? I guess we can just go with the date. I think I'll put it on the outside because that already says February up there. Let's put it over here. Yeah, that's fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right. I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. 
and I love you loads and thank you so much for supporting me and subscribing and um, if you'd like the video that's great and comments comments please because they really do help me um, they they help you know that YouTube bring up my video for other people too if you like and comment and stuff that um, whatever the algorithms are for YouTube to put your video out there more that's what it takes so if you could please 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 comment and like and that would be so awesome and i thank you so so much and love you guys have a great weekend bye now